G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. Today we've got some more news I want to share with you and this is back in Australia uh, in an area called Tasmania that's uh, south of Australian mainland. Now this story goes back uh, to June 7th but I still want to share it with you guys uh, so we'll have a read of it and like with all the news stories I'll link the story in the description bar down below. Uh, click on that. Click on the link, and this will take you directly to the story for you to have a read uh, for yourself. So, uh, abalone divers cat and mouse encounter with a five metre great white shark prompts safety warning. Now, down Tasmania, Tasmania is a, a beautiful part of Australia. It's a, a main island off of uh, just below Victoria and Melbourne. I've never been to Victoria, but the coastline along there is absolutely fantastic. Uh, seal, sea lions, whales, you name it. It's really, uh, it's yeah. I would love to be able to go down there one day and um, and explore Tasmania. Uh, now Tasmania has a big population of great white sharks down there. Um, we don't really hear much in the news story about them, but in the last, I guess, fifty years maybe, there have been probably about six uh, fatal encounters, and they're all from great white sharks. So a lot of diving down there. Um, uh, abalone divers and stuff like that so uh, it's a fantastic spot <clears throat> so we'll read this story here uh, Tasmania abalone divers 20 minute encounter with a great white shark has prompted a warning to all commercial divers to adopt a new safety technique uh, I should say this story is from uh, by Fiona Breen and this is on the ABC uh, news site as well um, the Abalone Association of Tasmania has just disputed, disputed um, an email to members telling how a diver had an encounter with a five metre shark near uh, Mat Matsuka Island off the Tasmania's south coast. Uh, head of the association, Dean Leeson, said the diver, whose name has not been released, was working alone at a depth of 14 metres, gathering the self shellfish delicacy abalone when he was first buzzed by the great white shark. According to Mr Leeson, uh, the, shark's been, uh, the shark then charged at the diver for a second time at great speed. The diver was then repeatedly bumped from behind in what he thought was an attempt by the shark to bite him. According to the account sent to other members of the Tasmanian Abalone Association, the diver lost his bearings and without realising swam into deeper water looking for a gutter to lay in. When realising he was about 18 metres off uh, water, the diver stopped and tried to work out which direction the shore was. He was approached uh, he was approaching dangerous depths for diving with the decompression stop mid-water is required before returning to the surface. So what they're saying is that um, he was getting to, uh, to a part in the water where it was deep, where if he went any further, then uh, for him to surface, he would have had to stop halfway to decompress, I think, and uh, that would have uh, set him up as a, an easy target with that uh, big white shark. Uh, Mr Leeson said, understandably, it took all of his willpower not to make the dash for service, uh, the surface. Realising that something was miss, amiss, the diver's deck hand on the boat above threw a drop line to the diver with an underwater slate attached. The diver wrote a message on the slate and pulled the drop line signal, uh, the signal of the deck hand to retrieve it, Mr Leeson said. Mr Leeson said the diver swam towards the shore and when... In shallow water uh, with, hang on, sorry. Uh, the message was for the deckhand to orientate the, vis, the vessel with its bow pointing to the nearest shoreline. In this manner, the diver was able to determine which way to swim. So he sent a message up saying, obviously, there's a shark down here. Can you point the boat into the direction of shore so he can make it uh, towards uh, safety. Mr. Leeson said the diver swam towards the shore and when it was uh, in shallow water with the vessel directly above him was able to swim to swim the short distance from the bottom to the diver's door on the vessel and quickly pull himself aboard. The new safety recommendations include divers having an underwater slate with them agreed and agree on a signalling method with the deckhand on the boat above and for divers to use a shark deterrent such a, as a shark shield. So there you go. Quite an interesting story. I tell you what, we've I've talked about abalone divers on here before, especially the ones down in South Australia who come out of uh, Port Lincoln and uh, and those uh, towns around there. These guys uh, dive amongst 
uh, areas where there's large great white sharks. I don't t- honestly. I just yeah, that's they're, they're pretty brave guys. Hey, uh, to chase abalone and that, and uh, it would have to be a stressful job, a very stressful job because you just don't know the day when you dive down there. Um, the big ones down there won't for you. So. But uh, interesting story. Like I said, it was back in June 7. I've only just uh, come across it now. Uh, like I said uh, in previous videos, we're coming up to uh, July, and that's basically when I'm going to kick the channel off again. Uh, as you can see in the last few days, I've been uh, pumping out the videos with new stories. Uh, this is the type of thing I'm going to go with uh, for the rest of the year. I'm going to be looking for new stories that cover great white sharks and around the world and uh, relay them to use guys and also continue on my sh- shark stories and, uh, and other stuff like that as well. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. Um, so there you go, guys. A nice little story here. Remember to uh, click on the link down below if you want to come over and have a read for yourself if you're interested in having a look. And uh, this is the story from the ABC by Fiona. So, um, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Drop a comment down below. Hit that like button share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.